What's good YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rottweilers and today I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on the new setup that we have for our Rottweiler kennel. Uh, we're actually complete with phase two which is the pavers, turf and the drainage. I'm going to show you guys a quick rundown on the whole process and then I'll show you the finished product. We still got one more phase to go through but I'm going to show you guys where we're at right now today. So as you guys seen the process, I'm very uh, pleased with the guys who came to work. I can't remember the company, but I will post their business card somewhere in this video if you guys are located in Arizona and need some work done. Turf, pavers, the whole nine, they do all of it. Um, they do really great work. They started on, what is that, Saturday morning? and they were done Sunday morning, so I'm very happy with them. So if you guys are looking to add turf to your dog run, uh, I suggest you go with a mid-level turf, uh, one that's not super short uh, to where, you know, where it's gonna get messed up really quick, gonna look very uh, not green, yellow, and dull, and not one that's gonna be super long. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort to actually clean and sanitize, and as well as try to get the poop out. So. For the pavers, um, I didn't get anything special. I just kept what we have. Uh, here at the house, well, the way we bought it, the standard pavers, I can't remember the name of them, but I love the way they look, I mean, they did a really good job, and then the drainage, the drainage was really expensive, actually, uh, I believe it was $179 uh, for 10 feet, and I had to get three of those, uh, I'll post uh, the exact drains that I ended up going with, the reason why I went with them is because they have the bigger slots, and I feel like you need bigger slots, for the simple fact is when you know you're cleaning up dog hair and dog food and everything like that can fit in i've seen a lot of kennels that have the smaller drainage and yeah it looks clean it looks nice but i don't really think it's it's doing its purpose and that's going to be flushing out all the dirt and all the other nasty stuff that comes along with you know taking care of dogs um but yeah so this is what we got this is phase two turf drainage and then the pavers plus the walk the walkway excuse me on that i feel like they did a really really good job on everything like i said especially for that quick turnaround they did it legit as you guys can see you got the pups in here hanging out after eating midday relax session i'll pull uh, lexi out in a second so you guys can see her it was unique lexi over here we got simba Willow and Zena. Right here we got Lexi Von Scosher. Just did a breeding with her in uh, iPod Black Illusion with my buddy uh, Frank Bustos. Hopefully we're gonna confirm her pregnancy in the next couple weeks here. Um, I think she took just because of her temperament change. She's very, very rough and wild with the other dogs. So we got her separated at the time being, but I definitely think she took. And we still do have slots open for that breeding. Um, we won't start taking deposits until we confirm her pregnancy, but as you can see, beautiful girl, excellent female, beautiful structure. If you guys are looking to reserve a pup from her, an iPod's Black Illusion, come here, Lexi. Let's 
still available, message us on Instagram or Facebook. Get on that waiting list. Another thing I wanted to mention about the pavers and the uh, the drainage is to make sure you guys, when you guys go to, stop girls. The two girls over there playing rough over the bone. But um, when, it, when it comes time for you guys to start laying pavers and everything else down, make sure you guys leave room for whatever water lines you guys put underground. So right here under my, uh, under the drainage is the actual um the the water pipes for the automatic water so what i did is this is not you know uh concreted down or cement up under there i can pick that drainage up if i need to if something happens to go on uh under there something cracks some leak happens i still can get under there and that's exactly why i left this side rocks also was because this is where the water line runs from the front yard. It's gonna be right there on that side area. And like I showed in one of my previous videos, was that the dogs actually busted it once. So definitely won't, don't wanna cover up the spots where you might need to go back under there and fix it. So that's something to, to take note when it comes time to put your kennels together. Uh, we'll be doing a price breakdown on how much the kennel and every process and every, every item costs. Um, I will be doing that in a later video, but as of now, this is it.